Do you want to get ahead of 99% of people in just six months? It all begins with your habits. Habits, those seemingly insignificant actions we repeat daily, are the unsung architects of our future. Just as rivers, over time, carve paths through mountains, our habits shape the contours of our lives. They can propel us towards success or lock us in a cycle of stagnation, depending on what they are. But here's a subtle nuance. It's not just about creating positive habits. It's also about eliminating the detrimental ones. Think of it as pruning an overgrown garden. We cut away the unhelpful growth to allow the beneficial plants to thrive. The same goes for our habits. We must identify and eliminate those that hinder our progress to create room for the ones that will drive us forward. This approach, in essence, is about taking action, even in the face of uncertainty, rather than waiting for the perfect moment. Because in reality, there is no perfect moment, there's only now. So are you ready to discover these six detrimental habits that could be holding you back from achieving your full potential? The first habit you need to eliminate is procrastination. This adversary of productivity is notorious for stealing time and sowing seeds of regret. It, it's a sneaky habit that whispers in your ear, promising that there's always tomorrow, luring you into a false sense of security. But let's dissect this illusion. Procrastination is often the offspring of uncertainty. It's the of diving into the unknown, of facing potential failure. But here's the twist. Uncertainty is not a beast to be feared, but rather a challenge to be embraced. It's the breeding ground for innovation, for growth, for progress. How many opportunities have slipped through fingers because you were waiting for the perfect moment? How many dreams have been pushed aside simply because the timing wasn't quite right? The truth is, the perfect moment is a myth. It's a product of procrastination, a mirage that keeps you stuck in place while time marches on. Every moment we allow procrastination to dictate our actions, we're letting golden opportunities pass us by. We're stifling our potential, letting our dreams gather dust on the shelf. But the power to change this lies within you. The antidote to procrastination is action. Embrace uncertainty, take a leap of faith, and step into the unknown. You'll find that the water is not as cold as you feared, the road not as rough as you imagined. And remember, the best time to is now. It's not tomorrow or the day after. It's not when the stars align or when you feel ready. It's right now. Because the only surefire way to beat procrastination to get ahead of 99% of people in six months is to take action. Stop waiting, stop hesitating. Remember, the best time to act is now. Next on the list is negative self-talk. Imagine you're a sculptor and your mind is the marble. The chisel, that's your self-talk, the inner dialogue you have with yourself. Now, if your chisel is constantly hacking away with negative undermining comments, what sort of figure do you think you're going to carve? One that's chipped and fractured, or one that's smooth and strong. Negative self-talk. It's a nasty habit that we all fall into from time to time. It's that little voice that whispers, you're not good enough, or you'll never make it. It's a voice that can hinder personal growth and productivity, and it's a voice that needs to be silenced. So how do we do that? Well, it starts with awareness. Recognize when you're slipping into negative self-talk. Catch yourself mid-thought and say, stop. But don't just stop there. Replace those negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Instead of saying, I can't do this, say, I'll give it my best shot. Instead of, I'm not good enough, say, I am worthy. Instead of, I'll never make it, say, I will persevere. Remember, it's about progress, not perfection. It's about moving forward, not standing still. It's about growth, not stagnation. And it all starts with the way you talk to yourself, because believe it or not, you're listening. You're absorbing every word, every thought, every belief. So make it count, make it positive, make it empowering. The way you talk to yourself matters. Be your own biggest cheerleader. Habit number three is overthinking. Ah, overthinking. The art of creating problems that weren't even there in the first place. It's like a rocking chair giving you something to do, but ultimately getting you nowhere. Overthinking can lead to a destructive cycle of self-doubt, stress and anxiety, which can severely hinder your progress and personal growth. You might be asking, how do I stop this habit? 
Well, the first step is to focus on solutions rather than problems. Instead of dwelling on what could go wrong, think about what could go right. Try to channel your energy into constructive thinking. Ask yourself, what's the best possible outcome and how can I make that happen? Another effective strategy is breaking down tasks into manageable parts. The thought of a huge task can be overwhelming, leading us to overthink and stall. But if you break it down into smaller, more manageable tasks, it becomes less daunting. It's like eating an elephant. You do it one bite at a time. Also, remember that perfection is a myth. Striving for perfection often leads to overthinking, as we try to control every single detail. Instead, strive for progress. Embrace the fact that mistakes and setbacks are part of the journey, and they often provide valuable lessons. Lastly, practice mindfulness. Being present, being in the now, can help reduce overthinking. Instead of worrying about the future or regretting the past, focus on the present moment. It's all we truly have. Keep in mind, action often eliminates the need for overthinking. So let's stop thinking and start doing. After all, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. The fourth habit to eliminate is the fear of failure. A fear that all too often keeps us tethered, hindering us from venturing into the unknown and pursuing our dreams. This fear, this trepidation of failure can be like a heavy anchor, pulling us down into the depths of inaction and regret. Now let's consider this for a moment. What if Thomas Edison had given in to the fear of failure? We might still be in the dark. Or if the Wright brothers had let their fear of failure clip their wings, we might still be earthbound. You see, they viewed failure not as a setback, but as a stepping stone towards their goals. Failure is not a nasty monster lurking in the shadows, ready to pounce at your slightest misstep. No, it's more like a strict, yet caring teacher, ready to point out your mistakes and guide you towards improvement. It's a learning opportunity, a chance to grow, to evolve, and to become better. If we let the fear of failure dictate our actions, we're likely to miss out on opportunities that could lead us to success. We need to view failure not as a dead end, but as a detour, a chance to explore new paths and possibilities. So the next time you find yourself at the precipice of a decision, teetering on the edge of action and inaction, remember this. The fear of failure should not be a deterrent. Instead, let it be a reminder that with every failure comes a lesson. And with every lesson, you're one step closer to success. Remember, failure is just a stepping stone on the path to success. Habit number five is lack of self-discipline. What a fascinating yet challenging concept to grasp. You see, self-discipline is the silent force that keeps us on track, that nudges us forward when we'd rather take the easy path. It's the driving force that turns our lofty dreams into tangible realities. Without self-discipline, we're like a ship adrift at sea, tossed around by the winds and waves of life. We have no direction, no purpose, and no power to steer our course. But with self-discipline, we become the captains of our own destiny, able to navigate through even the stormiest seas to reach our desired destination. But how do we cultivate this crucial trait? Well, it starts with setting clear, achievable goals. These serve as the beacon guiding our actions, the lighthouse in the distance that keeps us on course. Every day, align your actions with these goals, no matter how small they may seem. Each step taken, each task completed, brings you closer to your ultimate aim. Next, establish a daily routine. Consistency, my friends, is key. A routine gives structure to our day, providing a framework within which we can operate effectively. It eliminates unnecessary decision-making, freeing up our mental energy for more important tasks. Finally, practice mindfulness. Be present in each moment, fully engaged in the task at hand. This not only improves the quality of your work, but also strengthens your self-discipline as you learn to focus your attention where it truly matters. Remember, self-discipline isn't about punishment or deprivation. It's about making choices that align with your long-term goals, even when those choices are difficult. Self-discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. It's the key that unlocks the door to success. So, embrace it, nurture it, and watch as it transforms your life. The final habit to eliminate is neglecting personal health. In this fast-paced world, it's easy to let your health slip through the cracks. You may think that skipping meals, losing sleep, 
or neglecting exercise is a small sacrifice for success. But here's the hard truth. You can't pour from an empty cup. If you don't take care of your health, your productivity and performance will suffer. Physical health is the foundation of a vibrant life. Regular exercise, even just a brisk walk or a quick workout, can do wonders. It not only keeps your body in shape, but also stimulates your brain, boosting your mood and energy levels. A balanced diet filled with a variety of fruits, vegetables, lean protein and whole grains fuels your body and mind. Don't forget, hydration is key. Drinking plenty of water helps maintain your body's balance of bodily fluids, but health isn't just physical, it's also mental. The mind needs care just as much as the body. Mental health is often overlooked, but it's just as vital. Stress management techniques like meditation or deep breathing exercises can help you keep a clear mind and a positive outlook. Adequate sleep is another crucial component of mental health. It's the time when your body and mind recharge, heal and prepare for another day. So make a commitment to yourself, prioritize your health, take that walk, eat that salad, get that extra hour of sleep. Remember your body and mind are your greatest assets. Without them, all the success in the world means nothing. Your health is your wealth, take care of it. Eliminating these six habits can set you on the path to success. Let's do a quick recap. First, we tackled procrastination, the thief of time. We then moved on to negative self-talk, the underminer of self-confidence. Overthinking, our third habit, can be a paralyzing force, preventing us from taking action. The fear of failure, habit number four, stops us from daring to dream big. Lack of self-discipline, our fifth habit, hampers our ability to stick to our goals. Lastly, we address neglecting personal health, a habit that undermines our overall well-being. Remember, the journey to success isn't just about creating positive habits, but also about subtracting the negative ones. It's about taking action, even in the face of uncertainty, rather than waiting for the perfect moment. Remember, the key to getting ahead of 99% of people in just six months lies within you. You have the power to shape your future. Start today. Before we wrap up, Let's put these lessons into action. It's time for you to take the first step towards your success. Begin by acknowledging these negative habits and consciously working towards eliminating them. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. We're here to guide and support you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our empowering content. Leave a comment below telling us about the habit you're committed to breaking and share this video with your friends so they too can embark on this journey of personal growth. Thank you for watching. Remember, your journey to success starts now. Be the change you wish to see. Start today.